Altered Gaming TV. What is up, YouTube? Thank you for watching Altered TV. Today, I have a fun one in store for myself and you guys. This is my first time playing Sunken Land. Now, I saw about five minutes of gameplay starting from the beginning, and I stopped watching because I want to have a genuine first time playthrough, and I'm excited to do so. Uh, this game was newly released on August 25th of 2023 of this year, uh, about a week ago. And it was published and developed by Vector3 Studios. From what I can see, this is their first game. I didn't look too deeply into it, but I know it's at least their only game on Steam at the moment. And so with all that being said, if you enjoy this content, please smash that like button and subscribe. I have other videos up on my channel, and I look forward to making a lot more. So let's grow this together, guys. So without further ado, this is my first time playing Sunken Land. Let's get to it. I look like a fool. All right, here we go. Welcome to Kevin Costner's Waterworld. We're gonna make our way to our island real quick. The Castaway Island, as it's called. And I found some scavenging stuff on our way. Alright guys, welcome to home base. Welcome to Sunken Land. Welcome to Waterworld, and meet Kevin Costner. We are on the mission to survive. Now, my first impressions visually, it appears to be a post-apocalyptic, flooded area. <laughs> I mean, the area, general surrounding area, it looks like typical um, civilized area that got flooded. It reminds me kind of of Floodland. I can see, you know, some power lines, some buildings. Um, so these, uh, uh, you know, are looking like hilltops or mountaintops. Water tower. And they start us with not much. We got some canned food, some soda. I just picked up some scrap metal right when we landed, wherever we fell from, into the water, the new ocean, if you will. Um, we got some general basic uh, structure, building here, wood and metal, uh, water purifier converts seawater into fresh water. Good to know. Simple grill. Some stuff for planting. Uh, crafting table or research table. Some chests. Marker flag. That's useful. You don't see that in a lot of survival games. Some defensive structures and barricades. Uh, oh, cool. Paddle boat. Wooden sailboat. Um, and some, I guess, cooking in light. Um, alright, so that's that, our uh, mission. A new chapter. I find myself on the beach with a pounding headache and no memories except for being tortured in a dark room. Interesting. Survival is my top priority now, but I have nothing. I'll scour the surroundings for materials to make a shelter and tools. A bed to sleep on and something to satisfy my hunger would be great too. So I need to establish a base, uh, make sure I build on foundations, scavenge underwater ruins for materials. I can hunt for food. Um, there should, um, I guess there's going to be fruit on the island. Uh, acquiring weapons is a priority as I must be prepared for potential encounters with pirates. Looking forward to that. 
And then finding blueprints for better gear and crafting. Of which I have none. There's a good amount though. That's cool. Uh, here's our map. Looks pretty big. Factions. Alright, this is cool. Shows how many islands, I guess, they they occupy. How many of them there are. Nice. That's pretty sweet. Alright, so, uh, to build a shelter. It's looking like we're gonna need to collect some stuff. Get some wood. Some strawberries. Strawberries. more. Very cool. Not a very large island to start with. However, uh, it's looking like we're going to be able to do a lot of exploring. So. So this is about as much as I saw of gameplay so far. So everything from here on out is all new to me. And that's the exciting part of these first time playthrough videos. I love doing them, you'll see a lot of them. It looks like somebody's been here. However, they are not here anymore. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. What do we got in here? A little cave here. Ooh, a torch. that there. We'll take all of it. I wonder if I can make this a little shelter. I doubt it. It said I had to build one. That's okay. Got my little stone hammer here. Can I chop wood with it? Is that doing anything? Oh, there we go. Cool. I wonder if it'll work for this tree. I don't think it is. Oh. Nice. We'll see how much I actually need to build something after I... I'll cut down one more and we'll see what we can build. I'm guessing it's going to take more than two trees to build a structure. A little shelter, but... I had to adjust the sensitivity because, by golly, it was super slow. It would have taken me 15 seconds to do a 360, <laughs> the uh, general settings that it had. Alright, this looks like a good spot. Let's see if we can... build something nice here. Okay, we got some, we'll start with the, ooh, I'm going to need more wood already. Okay, out of wood. Alright guys, so I am going to collect a bunch of wood, and I'm going to finish up this generic little structure here. I don't plan on staying here forever, it looks like there's a lot of places to go. But maybe we will. I don't know. I have no idea what's in store for us. So I'm going to collect some wood. I'm going to put up the remainder of this shelter. And we'll be right back. Alright guys, so we got the shelter done. I had to find out after 
taking a few minutes. Um, I had to find out the hard way. Um, these roofs, if you haven't played this game yet um, and you plan on it, just remember when you're trying to put the roofs up, you need these uh, center struts or poles um, to support the roof. Even, I think, in like a four square shelter, um, I almost put up just basic floor on the roof um, because I couldn't figure out how to get the roof there. Uh, not much of a roof, it looks more like a pallet and I don't really feel like I need the windows because I can just look right through the wall, but it's home. So we are going to see what else we can do here. Um, oh, I guess you close it that way. Okay, we're going to see what we can do here in terms of scavenging, exploring, crafting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a spear right away since I have the resources for it. I think I'm going to cut down another tree real quick. Uh, I saw that I could build a wooden crate. So I'm going to dump off the material that I do have in my inventory right now and make room for whatever I can find. In my journal or my mission log or whatever you want to call it, it does say I have to explore underwater ruins for material. So, we're going to get to that. It sounds exciting. Here we go. Well, let's put the crates over here. Designated corner. I guess we'll just do one for now. And we will... Uh, we'll keep the strawberries. And we'll put everything else that I found, chopping trees and whatnot. We'll put it all in our... Oops. Did not mean to do that. I meant to hit sort. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna take out my spear. And I think we're gonna go for a little swim. See what's down here. We got some scrap metal. I mean, I've been underwater for, I don't know, combined 30 seconds, including that first chunk of scrap metal I found before I even got to the island, and uh, it doesn't seem like there's a shortage of loot. I don't know if that means it requires a lot of shit to get going, or if it's just really easy, but we will find out. Who am I to speculate this early? I wonder what happens when I drown. I don't want to find out right now, but I am sure it will happen. I could chop this up. Get some wood. I don't have time to read. Just give it to me. Okay, well, it's getting dark. Pretty quickly. Oh no, I'm just out of breath. And <laughs> I did almost just find out what happens when you drown. Let's not do that again. Going back in. Some scrap metal. Give 
Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Alright, halfway out of oxygen. Alright, let's return for a moment. Look at this guy. Give me that crab meat. You too. Even the food, it seems pretty abundant here in the beginning. I wonder if, you know, weather has an, you know, a significant effect on things. What is this bar? Is that my health? I think that's my health. I want to see if I can use that bandage. Okay, so we're going to some charcoal, all right, flare, some cloth, lung function booster, increases diving time temporarily. Very nice. Oh, I don't even have to drag, okay. You know what, let's just keep all the crafting stuff out for now and see what I can make. Eat some strawberries. Alright, let's see if I can build anything now. Um, I saw a water purifier right here. Ooh, I can make it. Uh, I got five components. I need three. Yes, let's get right on the water purifier. Stick it over here. And I uh, thought I saw a bucket too right here. I'm going to need that. Yep, I can just add the seawater to it. It's getting dark. So apparently, I'm a magician. And I can just pull a lit torch out of my pocket. Good information to know. How do I... Okay. Add wood, add seawater. Okay. I'm gonna fill this up and see what else I can make. I'm guessing I need a bed. I don't know. Sweet. That's pretty cool. It gives me light as well. Let's see if I can make a bed. More wood. Okay. Chop this tree down quick. Actually, how much is that gonna be? Four right there. Look at that. Oh, I still need four more. Okay. I think that'll do it. Nice. Nice bed for our shelter. That I can't see in. It's not bedtime. Oh, now it's not bedtime. Now it's morning. Got some water. I'm going to fill this up. Probably be a good idea to make it a habit to have this thing full. I'm guessing strawberries are the not the only food source that provide hydration. However, it's clearly, it's a survival game, so it's obviously going to be pretty important to have fresh water. 
two more. I must say, um, the, you know, getting the basics built and having the immediate resources to build this stuff, um, it's a lot easier than some other, some other uh, survival games, uh, especially just getting started. Sometimes it does take me a while to really figure them out if I don't do any, if I don't look into the game at all or I don't see anyone else playing it before I play it. Uh, but this one is pretty straightforward. Not too, not too much of a learning curve so far. I mean, it does seem really cool. I do have it on like the middle or medium difficulty. I haven't checked to see if I could change that mid-game, but um, we'll find out. I haven't been put to the test yet with anything. That's not true. I almost did drown. Let's go see what's out here. Should have probably cleared my inventory out. Glass. Okay. Take it all. Get to the surface. Go, 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 go. Man, once I get a wrap, it's gonna be nice. be able to float out and then just dive straight down. I saw there's flippers, so those are gonna be definitely gonna be helpful. All right. While there's light, we're just gonna dive and collect as much as possible. Sort all that. Not gonna need glass. Not gonna need wood while we're down there. We will not need that mobile phone. I'm not gonna need any of this shit. I'm gonna have to build another box. That'll be for when we get back. The graphics aren't too bad. Um, I think I have them on high right now I gotta put them on max um, but for being just on high I don't mind them you know some of the up close textures aren't the greatest or anything but I really like the way the water looks good color so far so good Pushing it again. I'm gonna have lungs of fucking steel. Lots of scrap metal. Shit, might as well just build a uh, metal shelter. I think we got enough inventory space for one more dive here at this building. Getting some water. 
waterlogged wood. Okay, we're gonna build another crate here for all our stuff. Storage is key. And so is eating. So, we'll do that. I am quite surprised, actually, at how quickly you get fresh water. Especially being that the strawberries found on the little island here provide a decent amount of hydration. Maybe I just need to put the difficulty on a little bit harder. here at the foot of the bed there we go now we got some storage space and we're going back out all right so that's the building we were just in I don't think we made it here, so we'll check this one out. I think there's more wood underwater for me to get than there is on the island. So I did pick up that, I don't I don't know if it, it looked like pills or something like that, it boosts my, uh, my lung capacity, oh maybe this is the one I was already in, uh, but I think I'm going to hold on to that. It looks like it gets pretty deep out here and there's a lot to explore underwater, so I feel like that'll be coming a lot handier um, down the road. lot more handy. I don't think a lot handier is correct. A lot. Maybe it is. Now I'm saying it in my head. It's got me tripping. just fell off a cliff. That's a bad day for someone. I don't have a lot of air. There better be something good in here. Nope. liking the underwater aspect. I mean, there is a lot under here, and I've barely scratched the surface. You know, based off the size of the map. So it's looking like already um, I'm going to make a little series out of this one. Which is going to be nice, because I've been looking for a survival game. I don't have one on the channel yet. Well, until now. Um, and there's another couple games that I might make little series out of. We'll see. Um, but for now, I think we're going to go with Sunken Land, uh, at least for a few episodes, and see how it goes. Alright, we're right next to the base. Might as well drop this stuff off. I'm not sure... Oh, there's the time up there on the top left. Okay. So. Head back. 
back out this way. There was a lot out here. So I guess I explored 1% of apartments. Is that what that means? Alright, so let's just look at it this way. If I just swam out there, couldn't have been a far swim. I didn't make it that far yet. We'll say my immediate range is going to be about there. So, I mean, the map isn't too big. You know, by first appearance. But it does seem like they pack a lot into a small area. I mean, there's some other survival games out there where... I mean, you gotta... You're fighting for those resources, and... I mean, you're running for 10 minutes before you come across a building. So this is pretty neat. I wonder if I should... Is that my island? Uh-oh. It's to my left. Wait, no, it's all the way to my right. Uh, yeah, I guess that is it. Okay. I guess it'll be helpful if I remember what it actually looks like from a distance. What is this? Oh, some wood. Wood, 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 wood. Time to see what we can craft. Marlin fish skin I'm gonna need for those diving fins. What could I use immediately? I'm gonna pull out crafting materials. Uh, we'll pull out components. Maybe duct tape, maybe glass. I don't know what we need yet. We're about to find out. wood. Shit. We'll even pull out the gasoline tank. Okay. Um, we'll make a pickaxe. Take that. Can I use this? Alright, so just the fact that there's a repair hammer and that it allows me to build metal foundation, metal wall, so on and so forth, I'm assuming that weather is going to play a part, if not also being attacked. So I might want to get a head start on that. Um, grill for food. Definitely the research table is obviously going to be necessary. Wow, I can make a paddle boat already. Make a bonfire, hanging lantern, fire bowl. All right, so I guess let's, before I spend any money on anything, let's just double check. Um, yes, I'm gonna need rope. I'm gonna make three of them. I can always get more cloth. Alright, um... Alright, so, let's do... Okay, 
can make the grill. I saw something for fishing rod. Oh, right here. I need a wooden plank. Do I need the fishing rod right now, though? I feel like I need structure stuff. Hmm. Or weapons. Weapons. Either way, I'm gonna need wood. Um, and then I'll make the bow and some arrows and the crew. Alright, let's do that. So I'm gonna collect some stuff, guys, and then once I get enough of that together, we're gonna make some weapons and a research station, and we're gonna go from there. So we'll be right back. All right, so we got the research table done, um, and I just opened it. Look at, ooh, I can do a crossbow already. Wow, this game really moves pretty damn quick. Got some armor, you can do a helmet. Got some traps. Glass wall can only be built on foundations of floors. Fishnet, it automatically catches small fish. Wow, really does move pretty quickly. Um, before I do any of that, I need three more components. Okay, do I have them? Not there. Before I end this episode, I really want to have a boat ready to go. And some weapons. That way, episode two, we can get right into exploring some of these above water places. Maybe bumping into some of these factions. Um, but I do not want to do that if I'm not prepared. Uh, so that is going to consist of armor, uh, probably that crossbow with some bolts, and we'll you know see how how far episode two will take us. But for now, I just want to get all that set up so we can get right into it in the next episode. I can't sleep yet, but I can drink some water and I can fill the water tank. Alright guys, so the sun is almost down. Uh, I'm gonna eat some food and get some sleep. And then we just got a few things to do in the morning to get ready until, so we can set off and do some exploring. Uh oh, am I out of food? That might change everything. Okay, here we go. Got some food. Have a nice pop. And almost. Almost. Nighty night. And I believe I have. gotten all the wood on the island. I've seen a couple sticks on the shoreline, like this one, uh, that I think just kind of wash up, but for the most part, this island is pretty much wood free. Keep 
keep all the bugs out. And we're going to get some rest. And I am actually going to call episode one right here. And we're going to wake up in the morning with episode two. So thank you guys for watching all the way through. I'm excited for the next episode. We're going to have the boat. We're going to have a sweet crossbow, some armor. We're going to do some fishing. And hopefully we can get as far as building some defenses. So that's going to be an exciting episode. Please watch for that video to drop. I hope to get it out pretty quickly after this one. Please like and subscribe. Hang out with me interested in playing sunken land online i'm definitely interested so just let me know on that one leave it in the comments below thank you guys for watching all the way through you have a blessed day